How's it going guys? Rachel West here and I'm joined once again by one of our Bucks reporters, Rick Stroud. It's been a little bit, Rick, but I'm excited to be talking about the NFL draft with you right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it was a short off season for the Bucks. When you win a Super Bowl, you, you lose five weeks of preparation, but ready or not, you know, it's coming uh, next uh, on Thursday night. And, and I think, um, you know, they don't pick to the 32nd pick, so they got some time to wait when it does start. Exactly. And so before we even get into this year's draft, the past couple of years and recent drafts that the Bucks have had, they've had a lot of success. They've done really well in their picks. How have they been able to accomplish that? And how do they make sure that they are able to repeat that success this year? Well, you're exactly right. I mean, you can go back to 2016, which was just a horrible draft for Jason Light, you know, with Vernon Hargraves and Noah Spence and um, you know, taking a kicker in the second round that didn't work out uh, very well either. So, um, you know, that draft sort of disappeared. When, when I talked to John Spitek and, and uh, you know, and Mike Beal, who's his college uh, scouting director, you know, they tell me that, that they have missed on um, more the person than the player. You know, the player, um, there's a lot of talent. You get talented guys. Um, but in the NFL, you know, you deal with so much adversity. It's a man's game. Um, you know, you, you have guys 10, 12 years older with families. Um, it's a big adjustment and, and it's complex. And so I think what they have done um, is really emphasize how these guys have overcome adversity in their lives. Not that you have to have had any, but, but you know, I think it's important to see, you know, whether they just, you know, love being in the NFL or if they really truly love football and how they handle difficult situations to the point where they even read Greg Popovich's book, um, and Greg said that the Spurs coach that he would check guys GPAs and if guys cared about their grades, not more than just to stay eligible, but that told him they wanted to achieve. So they've done a lot of things um, with the interviews, with uh, the background checks. And I just think they're finding uh, a better type of, of person as well as player. Now, this offseason, it's been well talked about, well stated. They pulled off quite the feat, bringing back 22 guys from last year's team. How is, will that have an impact on who they're looking to draft and what they do with their picks this year? Yeah, you know, it's, it's really interesting. That, that hasn't happened to a Super Bowl team since, like, the Raiders in 1977. So when you have that many veteran players, obviously there's not as many starting spots. And that doesn't mean a guy can't win one. But you're not going into the season expecting a rookie necessarily on, on the first week of the season um, to be a starter, you know, failing an injury. So what that allows them to do, it, it, it allows them to uh, maybe take chances on some guys that might need more time to develop that have a big upside. Um, maybe they were opted out last year and didn't get to play college football. Maybe they're just uh, guys from smaller schools. Uh, it also allows you, and this is something we'll have to see when they get to draft day, since there's not that many uh, roster spots available, uh, they have seven draft picks. So perhaps they package a bunch of those knowing that maybe only three or four guys have a legitimate chance to make this team and they move up in the draft uh, and, and maybe, you know, try to get uh, better players in each round than waiting until the end of the round when they pick. So a lot of options for the Bucks, but it's certainly a, a unique opportunity and they feel like they can go for the best player and not necessarily a position of need. Right. Like you said, they do have pretty much all the options in the world can do whatever they want here. With that being said, Tom Brady is getting older. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's not. Or I'm not really sure. He's defying all time and logic here. Um, but theoretically, he is getting older and one day will decide to hang him up. Does it make sense for them to consider drafting a quarterback this year? Well, it certainly makes sense. I mean, you know, you, you have the, again, the luxury of, of taking somebody that you're not expecting to play right away because of, of Tom Brady being back and so many of your starting players and, and who better right than to absorb, maybe not learn from, but to absorb what Tom Brady does, the process that he has uh, for a young quarterback than to sit behind the greatest of all time. I mean, there's been a lot of quarterbacks that have done that in new England and gone on to have pretty good careers. By the same token, though, they're trying to win right now. They're trying to win in, in 2021 because they know that window is shorter than long. Um, and so I don't think they'll force drafting a quarterback. Uh, I think they would love to have a guy that they can uh, make use of right now. 
Um, but there are some guys that might entice them at the right spot. I mean, one right up the road at the University of Florida and Kyle Trask, you know, um, that's a guy who could fit this system that you may not have to rush into the lineup. So it will depend on the player, not so much the position again. Um, but I, I think they go into it saying, hey, it'd be great to get that next guy. But it's not something that they're you know, entirely focused on either. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of Florida fans around here who would be excited to have Trask in Tampa Bay and talk about getting a person over the player. I think he exemplifies that pretty, pretty well. Uh, so we'll see what the Bucks do here coming up in the draft this year. Rick, thanks for the time. Guys, make sure you're keeping up with Rick on Twitter and that you keep up with Sports by Tampa Bay Times as we lead up to the draft here. And as always, be sure you're checking out tampabay.com for your full Bucks coverage.